It is September 7th, 2019, 6.46 p.m. on a Saturday, and this is episode 611. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, this cartoon, I, I really wanted to get away from the whole Sharpie thing, because I'm, I'm Sharpied out, even though tomorrow's CNN cartoon is going to be on the Sharpies, but... I'm not just sharp it out from doing the Sharpies myself. I'm actually kind of tired of seeing all the memes and all the other cartoons about it and everything. Um, it's just... But I still think it's kind of important that it needs to be highlighted that, you know, Trump won't let it go, but I'm just kind of tired of it at this point. I'm getting worn out. Um, so I decided to do something without any Sharpies and that I think is kind of important, and that is defunding the, the military, diverting funds to the military to pay for the racist vanity project that is Trump's border wall. Uh, that he claims is already being built, which is not. Um, now he's taken $3.6 billion from the mil for military projects for the wall, which is, even if you think immigration is a huge problem, the wall will not actually solve it all. It, it won't help. I mean, it's not that it won't solve it. It won't even help <laughs> with it. It's just waste. It, it, it's a total government waste. It, it's been, usually they have government studies before they spend money on something, and they're having studies, and it shows that the wall is a huge waste, but they're still just going forward with it, because stupid ideas work on stupid people. And now the thing that gets me is that people who support the military, and they say they love the military, yada, 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 all that crap, uh, they're silent about this. They're, because they, they don't care, they stay funding the military. And also, the whole constitutional role of Congress to appropriate funds. Oh, you can get the money that you want for it? Okay, go steal it from someplace else. Uh, I'm sure this will be before the Supreme Court. Who knows what they'll do with it? He's declared a national emergency. I forgot to mention that in the blog. Uh, but it's not a national emergency. I mean, it's, it's an issue, but it's not a national emergency. The president should not be declaring national emergencies to, to help his polls, you know, to help his re-election. Just horrible. But then again, somebody like Donald Trump should not be president. I just want to have a couple more minutes to do the shout outs. Uh, I'm going to get straight to them. Robert Cortino said, I've, I've heard this before, uh, and I don't remember what, why you're telling the joke, but I'm sure there's something in the last video for it. But he says, A woman to Churchill, if I was your wife, I would poison your tea in Churchill, madam. If I was your husband, I would drink it. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I don't remember when it happened. I don't even know if that actually happened, but I've heard it has. So maybe one of those famous quotes that didn't really exist. So I need to look it up. Um, and Arrow said today the first minute of your video was talking about sushi. You didn't even get to the video number until around 50 seconds in. Oh my god, I made you wait 50 seconds. <laughs> I mean, I, did you have to look? Sorry, Arrow. Oh, by the way, Arrow, if you want to uh, talk to um, Akenta, uh, email me. So I told her that you said hi. Just like I told you I would. Um, Ariel also wrote, well, they say that England is following America's stupid lead, but their politicians have proven that they have morals and scruples. We need to follow their lead. He's still there from the blog. All right, uh, and Ariel is also glad that my channel is getting, or at least for the last video, got more views. Yeah, that, just for the last video, this one's back to normal. Uh, I think uh, we only got like 42. But it is a Saturday. And maybe this cartoon isn't great, but you know what? Banana's always funny. I even quoted Gwen Stefani at the end of this the blog. Did you see that? No, I didn't read it. She didn't read it. Uh, <laughs> but where she says, this shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> well, I heard the song. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but do you know that gorillas peel bananas from the bottom up? Yeah. You know, of course you do. Uh, click the red button, become a subscriber. Because gorillas are smarter than we are. And, uh, and if you're a gorilla, click that red button because he probably already has. All right, bye.